Hi, this is Mark for Ableton Daily, and today I'm going to show you how to convert a mono audio clip to a stereo audio clip. I know there's many times when we are working on a project and we have a mono audio clip and we wish it was stereo. That way we could have the left and right channels on that one audio clip, or we just need it for other purposes to use a plugin or something like that. Well, let me show you a really easy way we can do this in Ableton Live. First, make sure you have at least one audio track. Then go over to the file browser and locate or find a file that for sure you know that is mono. I'm going to use this uh, truck sound that I found here, and let's go ahead and listen to it. Okay. So that, that sound is definitely mono. So let's go ahead and drag this file into the project. Let's go ahead and play it back. What I'm going to do first is rename this audio track to left. Then I'm going to right click on this left audio track and choose duplicate. Now for the duplicate, I want you to name this right. Okay, and then just for volume purposes, I'll go ahead and turn down the master gain. And let's go ahead and play this back. Hmm, it still sounds the same, right? <laughs> well, that's because we're dealing with a phase issue. See, the timing of both audio clips are the same. So it doesn't matter how many duplicates of this track that we create, it's always going to sound mono, unless we change the timing of one track. A really easy way to do this is to control the delay of the track. All you have to do is come right down here to the bottom right of the live window, and you'll find a little button with a D on it. Go ahead and click on that, and another column will pop out, and this gives you the option to create a track delay. Now by default, it's set to milliseconds. You can also change it to sample delay by clicking right there. I'll just keep it on milliseconds for now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is create some sort of delay with this track. Let's enter in uh, 12. There we go. And let's go ahead and play it back. Hmm, still doesn't sound right. It's still mono, but I can hear that delay effect happening. Well, what's the problem? Well, the thing is, is that we have both tracks set to center. Well, Live doesn't know which track you want to go to the right and which track you want to go to the left. So for the track that says left, well, let's just go ahead and make this left. So click here, drag all the way down so it says 50L. And then on the right track, click here and drag up till this says 50R, which is the maximum right and the maximum left. Let's go ahead and play it back now. Uh, now we have that stereo imaging effect that we're looking for. Now there is no one set delay to input into the millisecond box here. This is totally optional. Sometimes you may only want a little bit of stereo widening and that's okay. And other times, you want to crank it all the way up so you have a lot of noticeable delay between the left and the right signal. So listen to the sound as I adjust the millisecond delay with the right track. Here we go. I like 12 milliseconds, so I'll just go ahead and keep it around there. Okay, cool. All right, now it's time to make our stereo audio clip. Well, this is really easy to do. All you have to do is just make a new audio track. So just right click here, insert audio track, and I'll go ahead and expand it. And I'll name this stereo. And right next to the name of the track, you'll find a little menu here, external in. Go ahead and click on this. And come down here where it says resampling. 
This will allow us to have live record back to itself. So how cool is that? So I'll go right over here and arm this track, letting live know that I want to only record on this new stereo track that I've made. And then I'll come right over here, right when the audio clip starts. So I'll just go ahead and click letting live know that that's where I want to begin recording. After that, I'll go ahead and arm the project for recording by clicking here. And then I'll come over here and press play. And there we go. Now I have a stereo audio clip to work with. And I'll just trim the audio clip by just moving the mouse pointer at the end of this bar here and dragging that to the end. And there we have it. So let's go ahead and mute the left track and the right track and just listen to our stereo clip that we've just created. This is Mark for Ableton Daily. Hey, if you like the videos, please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.